The U.S. Supreme Court makes a last-second decision to reinstate most of President Trump's controversial travel ban on citizens from six mostly Muslim countries. WJZ is live at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport. Political reporter Pat Warren reports the country's highest court has also agreed to hear the Trump administration's appeals in the cases. Pat? That's right, Mary. And what that means is that unless you have a bona fide person, a family member, or a job to come to the United States, too, you may not be able to get into the country. President Trump is celebrating the Supreme Court's decision to review his travel ban this fall and to allow most of the executive order to take effect in the meantime. The White House issued a statement calling the decision, quote, a clear victory for our national security. The 90-day ban would apply to most citizens from Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen, countries the Trump administration calls terror-prone. Unless you have some sort of contacts with the United States, a relative, a business relationship, certain other things that qualify for that, you are, if you're from one of these six countries, you uh, will be stopped from entering uh, the country. The justices are also allowing a 120-day ban on refugees to go into effect on a limited basis. The travel ban sparked massive protests and lawsuits, but the Supreme Court said the lower courts that blocked the travel policy went too far in limiting the president's authority. The justices are expected to hear full arguments in October. Now, between now and October, Homeland Security will have that 90-day period that the order went into effect to allow them to have to reassess their security screening process, which may make the case moot by the time the court takes its seat again. I'm Pat Warren reporting live from BWI. Now back to you on TV Hill. All right, Pat, thank you. Three of the court's justices said they would have permitted the entire ban to take effect without exceptions.